What you guys got another video here for you. Someone asked the question, is this the right time to buy a Ryzen CPU uh, or build a new computer? And the reason why they're asking that question is because uh, AMD Ryzen uh, is due to release their third generation of Ryzen CPUs in June or July this year. Now, obviously, they are going to be on the same socket AM4 motherboard. So for all you people that bought into the uh, architecture of Ryzen in the first generation you can always upgrade to the latest and greatest uh, because they're on the same socket which is a plus sign for you guys so is it worth uh, buying now or should you wait for the new Ryzen third generation well let's answer that question in this video first thing you want to ask yourself is how much money do you have to spend and what is your budget how old is your PC that you're using right now and can it be upgraded or if you've got to build a whole new system and also are you using a Ryzen architecture already did you buy into the first generation of Ryzen CPUs or did you buy the second uh, generation of CPUs uh, what do you use your computer for is it for gaming or media creation ie rendering videos editing videos and stuff like that on what sort of level professional level or just for YouTube and stuff like that so let's go ahead and try to answer these as quick as possible so first off if you bought into the Ryzen first gens and you've got something like this Ryzen 7 1700 or you've bought the Ryzen 7 1800 X and this is what you've got in your system right now these are still very good processors they are 8 cores and 16 threads now unless you are a video editor and this is not doing what it's meant to do anymore and something is struggling then I would say upgrade and is it worth upgrading to say for instance something like this which is the Ryzen 7 2700 at $239.99 personally if you've already got an 1800X I would wait until they release the new Ryzen third generation and see what the pricing is for there I don't think you're going to get it vastly cheaper than what you're seeing here because this is the 2700X and I think it's probably going to be more likely $400 plus for that same processor I would have thought because it will kill off the sales for the second generations. Uh, maybe they're trying to sell off all their first gens and then drop these prices down a bit further and then obviously uh, bring these uh, third gens down. I don't know, but we'll have to wait and see. So that is your dilemma. If it's a gaming system and you've got one of these, I won't waste your money. Keep your money and uh, put it into something else because there's not going to be much difference between all of these CPUs when it comes to gaming probably 10 frames if that uh, give or take uh, depending on what CPU you've got and again it's not going to make much difference you're going to be probably better off spending more time uh, getting better at the game than wasting money on CPUs to try and get more frames because it's not going to benefit you and also uh, another person that might be looking to buy or build a new system or determined on how much you want to spend is it worth buying into the first generation well if you can get a second generation CPU at a reasonable price if you're a gamer then buying this Ryzen 5 2600 just for gaming at $164.99 is a great buy that means you can put the rest of the money that you've saved into a decent GPU and buy your other parts and it's worth doing if you ask me it's got six cores and 12 threads which is going to be ample for gaming and uh, still be able to do some other light stuff like Photoshop and stuff like that uh, to a degree on a professional level you may want to jump up the uh, food chain a little bit and spend a bit more money eight cores, 16 threads again even may even higher than that if you've got the uh, funds to do it but other than that I would say if you are building a new system now is a time to get really good deals on Ryzen processors uh, if you're waiting for Ryzen third generation to come along and be dirt cheap I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon uh, so you may well you might as well buy now and build your system now because you're not going to benefit from waiting and waiting for the third gen to come out all that's going to happen is this might the only thing that might drop down is these might drop down a little bit more when those processors get released and these start to dry up these first gens start to dry up even this Ryzen 7 1700 processor at $159 just for a gaming system that is awesome price uh, you know that means you can plummet more money into your rig 
and you would have eight cores and 16 threads and you're not going to be um, have no problems with that whatsoever and you'll still be able to crank out some videos and stuff like that with that sort of system anyway albeit it's the first generation it's still a pretty decent CPU by today's standards all of these processors are pretty decent so depending on what your price point is and how much you've got to spend will determine what you can buy and also depending what you're trying to do if you're on a more professional level then you might want to look further up now if you've got one of these 1500 or 1400 uh, CPUs with the first generation maybe now to the time to uh, get yourself a decent uh, second gen um, uh, a decent price upgrade that drop it straight in and you're good to go you know what I mean you might have to flash the BIOS if you've got the old B350 motherboard but other than that you should be okay um, you can you can still run that on the B350 motherboards you just have to flash the BIOS on the on the board there and they should be freely available on their website Anyway, that's about it for this video. Just some quick information for you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.